Dick and Joanna, it looks like the three of us will be showering together tomorrow. <laughs> why, why is that, George? I still can't fix that water heater. There's only enough hot water left for a quick soap and rinse. How, how much is a new hot, hot water heater? About $1,200. Wow. Will, uh, will you wash my back? <laughs> Maybe I should keep tinkering. Well, isn't that new handyman coming today? Maybe he could help you. He's not a handyman. He's a stonemason. He repairs fireplaces. I repair water heaters. No, no, you don't, George. <laughs> Low blow, Dick. <laughs> Honey, since we're doing repairs anyway, wouldn't this be a good time to print a new brochure? Now, what's wrong with the old brochure? Oh, it's so dated. Read this. Coming soon, color television. <laughs> well, I guess we could spruce it up a little. Great. I'll rewrite the brochure and take some pictures for the cover. Jo Joanna, you're, you're not a photographer. I think I have a very artistic eye. Well, then open it the next time you try to take a picture. <laughs> Oh, what's the haps, chaps? I'm going to update the inn's brochure. Oh, did that color TV finally come in? <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Stoney, the stonemason. You. Yo to you. How you doing? Michael, is he a laborer? He said yo, didn't he? <laughs> Welcome to the Stratford. Thanks. Hey. Nice pipe wrench. Yeah, it was my dad's. Well, he had good taste. Hey, you're all right, Stoney. Do you know anything about hot water heaters? Sure. My pop was a hot water heater man. The fireplace can wait. Come on. <laughs> I, I wonder if Hallmark makes a card for a moment like that. <laughs> Don't even try it. <laughs> I know your type. You wear a hard hat and say things to make me walk fast. Room. Is that some macho wisecrack you use while you and your buddies are drinking beer? No, I just need a broom. <laughs> oh. So, go get me one. Just who do you think you're talking to? The maid. Do I look like a maid? Well, yeah. Oh, stop begging. I'll get it. Okay, now I want to get some indoor shots. No more pictures. You got pictures of me uh, waving to the postman, pointing to the inn, and, and, and making uh, make the... uh, stupid angels in the snow. <laughs> Dick, you looked adorable. A grown man lying on his back, flapping his arms in the snow. <laughs> it's not adorable. You better burn that picture. I just want to finish up the room. How many more do you have? Thirty. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. Oh, great. I can get an action shot of you turning down the beds. <laughs> I know what you're staring at. You do? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll clean this mess up before I go. Well, you'd better. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. And don't ask me for anything else. <laughs> Morning, honey. 
I finally decided on the perfect picture for the brochure. The one where you're posing with some of our guests. I don't remember that one. Well, it'll only take two seconds. <laughs> the jolly innkeeper posing with his happy-go-lucky lodgers. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, uh, my, my wife was wondering if, if you'd do us a favor. We're eating. <laughs> Well, my, my wife can see that, but she'd like to take a picture of the three of us for the, uh, the new Stratford brochure. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Dick Loudon, the, the jolly innkeeper. Oh, say yes, Art. Maybe he'll leave us alone. <laughs> okay, here we go. You didn't say you were going to touch us. <laughs> Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> take, take the picture, honey. Take the picture, honey. Take the damn picture, honey. I'm waiting for the little green light. Art, he's looking down my blouse. <laughs> a good one. It's also the last one. <laughs> I guess Dick and Joanna failed to mention that we require proper attire in the dining room. So if you intend to eat in here, I suggest you either pull your shirt down or pull your pants up. I'm just having coffee. Thanks. Milk? <laughs> Thanks. I suppose you want me to stir it for you, too. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> A man with shoulders like that <laughs> could stir his own coffee. <laughs> Greetings. Michael. <laughs> How's my little sugar plum? <laughs> Ooh, someone should send him a message in dress code. <laughs> so, ready? The uh, meter's ticking on the sleigh. Sleigh? Covers yesterday was the first snowfall. Our annual sleigh ride down Main Street to show off our new winter woolens. Oh, of course. Michael, you know how I live for this day, but... Dick says I have to work. Well, this really ruffles my muffler. Has this man no respect for tradition? How about this afternoon? Well, I guess. Of course, we throw him a curve and show up fashionably late. After seven hours in foot-freezing weather, those pedestrians will pop their parkas. <laughs> Till then, my dreamsicle. Pump too much iron? I must have pulled my delt. Your what? My delt. My shoulder. Oh. Is it painful? <laughs> Uh, I can live with it. Good. Certainly hope you don't expect me to rub it or anything. <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> Is this the delt you're talking about? Uh, higher. Here? A little higher. Here? Oh, yeah.
Francis. It's what I've written for the brochure. As you wake and gaze through the leaded glass window of your elegantly appointed bedchamber, <laughs> your eyes will fairly dance as they feast upon the verdant panorama <laughs> of the majestic rolling hills. <laughs> Exactly where are, are, are the hills? Well, you know, that one out back. It's not a hill. It's, it's more like a, a, a bump. So I should cut out the word majestic? That, that should do it. Oh, and uh, maple syrup doesn't, doesn't plummet out of a tree. It, it, it kind of uh, cascades. I was I was thinking drips. <laughs> of course, that's just one man's verdant opinion. Right. Well, if what I've done doesn't meet your high standards, fine. Write the whole damn thing yourself. Stephanie. Yo. What, 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 what are you doing? Dick, I'm pushing a wheelbarrow. Is, isn't that one of the first signs that the world is coming to an end? You're a good little worker. Oh, I got a kink. Uh, if you'd like, I could rub your shoulder again for you. Oh. I'll ju I'll just uh... <clears throat> I'll be I'll be in the, if if, if anyone. designer lenses deceive me or were your dainty digits actually burrowing that beefcake's biceps? What are you talking about? Steph, I could see with my own peep. Good God. Is that soot? Uh-huh. What's come over you, girl? I don't really know. You see, Stone and I were Stoney stuck and I you're referring to yourself and another man in the same sentence? Well, I was just doing an honest day's work. Stoney does it every day. Oh, Stoney does it every day. <laughs> Steph, don't you see what's happening to you? You're being swept away by that wolf in cheap clothing. Michael, you're acting like a child. I am not. You like Stoney and you don't like me. <laughs> Michael, where are you going? What difference does it make? You've got your stone man. Oh, sure, he may be built like a Greek god and have the strength of ten, but I have something he'll never have. A festively colored sleigh. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Did I hear a whinny? Dick, I need to talk to you. I'm a confused yet petite... Bundle of hormones. You see, see, that would be more Joanna's department. Dick, please help me. Stephanie, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm not, I'm not very good with, with, with hormones. Dick, I don't know what's happening to me. Have you ever been uncontrollably attracted to someone whose powerful biceps are slick with sweat? No. Dick, I want Stony. Bad. 
Stephanie, I'm, I'm not sure I'm the right person. And then again, to... I still love Michael. Oh, Dick, make this feeling go away. Which, which one? <laughs> I'm not sure. See, I, I, I don't know where to begin. Daddy always used shopping as a metaphor. <laughs> Uh, all, right, all right, all right. Let's say, let's say you're out shopping for, uh, for, for clothes. Can we make it sweaters? I love sweaters. <laughs> fine, fine. You're out, you're out shopping, shopping for sweaters. Good. And, and you, you, walk, you walk into this store and, and you see this nice blue sweater. I prefer red. It's red. <laughs> and, and, you'll, and you'll look great in it. You think? Yes. Uh, but but when you examine it closely, th there's something that's not not quite quite you uh, about it. It's Orlan. <laughs> what wh whatever. Well, uh, see, Stony is is like that Orlan sweater, and and somehow I just I just can't picture you going out with a. Orlan kind of guy. Go on. Go on. <laughs> go, go, go on. Um, on the other hand, Mike, Michael is, is more... Uh... Cashmere. Okay. <laughs> Cashmere lasts and I wear it so well. Great. So the, the, the point is, you're, you're going to have to make up your mind, you know. Is it, is it Orlan or is, is it Cashmere? Daddy would let me have both. Well, this, <laughs> this, this is my store. Okay, I'll take the Cashmere. But then again, you, you can't, is that Orlan? You, you, can't, you can't change your mind. All sales are fine. <laughs> I don't like your store. The salespeople are so pushy. <laughs> Stephanie, is, is any of this sinking in? I think so. You're saying that Stoney is sort of a machine knit, whereas Michael is more of a hand-woven. That's, that's where I was going with it. I'm so glad we're talking in sweaters. It actually makes learning fun. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Well, I guess I'd better go break this to Stoney. He probably doesn't have any sweaters. How do I say this using tank tops? Well, just tell him how you feel with, with, without clothes. Dick, that would only lead him on. Nice work, Stoney. Okay, it's like this. I'm a natural fiber person, and I could never even try on a synthetic, let alone have one in my closet. <laughs> I hope this doesn't destroy you, but we must end this madness now. I don't understand, but I'm sure I'll get over it. <laughs> Not you, George. Stoney. Huh? Oh. Well, another job done. I'm out of here. What do you say we go somewhere for a drink and talk? I don't think so. A clean break is best. Uh, not you, George. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, you're a good little worker. I mean that, Stacy. <laughs> How did he, uh, how did he take it? He was destroyed. <laughs> and stay out! <laughs> I'll, I'll just, uh, if, if anyone, up. Michael, you're soiled. Never whip a nag before you climb into the carriage. <laughs> Thank you.
Should have seen the looks I got dashing through the snow after a one-horse open sleigh. I don't know what came over me. It's all my fault. I was driven by a surge of unbridled lust, but I know with you by my side, I'll never feel that way again. <laughs> That's my girl. Do you think you could forgive me? What's to forgive? I never thought for a moment that sturdy stallion was any match for this polo pony. Oh, my God. There have been times my loins, too, have been tempted by animal passion. When? Whoa, look at the time. Well, if we're going to make that sleigh ride, we better meet back here in an hour, cleansed, coiffed, and covered in cashmere. He said cashmere. What, what are you laughing at? Oh. Pictures of you, Dick. <laughs> George just picked them up at the one-hour photo. <laughs> oh, let me, let me see. Okay. Oh, these are good. What's this picture of Stoney doing in here? Oh, that's mine. What? <laughs> Joanna, let, let me explain the difference between cashmere and Orlon. Looks like the three of us will be showering together tomorrow. <laughs> why, why is that, George? I still can't fix that water heater. There's only enough hot water left for a quick soap and rinse. <laughs> how, how much is a new hot, hot water heater? About 1200 Coming soon, color television. <laughs> well, I guess we could spruce it up a little. Great, I'll rewrite the brochure and take some pictures for the cover. Jo Joanna, you're, you're not a photographer. I think I have a very artistic eye. Well, then open it the next time you try to take a picture. Hi-ho. <laughs> What's the haps, chaps? I'm going to update the inn's brochure. Oh, did that color TV finally come in? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Stone. The stonemason. You. Yo to you. How you doing? Michael, is he a laborer? He said yo, didn't he? <laughs> Welcome to the Stratford. Thanks. Hey. Nice pipe wrench. Uh, it was my dad's. Well, he had good taste. Hey, you're all right, Stoney. Do you know anything about hot water heaters? Sure. My pop was a hot water heater man. The fireplace can wait. Come on. Dollars. Wow. Will, uh, will you wash my back? 
Maybe I should keep tinkering. Well, isn't that new handyman coming today? Maybe he could help you. He's not a handyman. He's a stonemason. He repairs fireplaces. I repair water heaters. No, no, you don't, George. <laughs> Low blow, Dick. Honey, since we're doing repairs anyway, wouldn't this be a good time to print a new brochure? Now, what's wrong with the old brochure? Oh, it's so dated. Read this. <laughs> 